Would someone... But there's also no pool of blood there. Would someone just kill him like that on the spot? This had to be planned. I am so, so sorry. Even if the info you gave did help the killer, you aren't the reason he died. Glenn's murder is the reason he died. You shouldn't feel guilty. Unless it is you. In which case, <laughs> you should feel a little guilty. Unless you don't do this, you're not supposed to say that to her. <laughs> Look, Victor, I appreciate you and I appreciate the same brain moment we just had, but you can't say that to her because she's about to pop off. Or Marie's about to give you that. Okay, thanks, Victor. Good. Dave, people, too much. Dave. In the United States Aviator. The Year of the Horizon. Something I didn't expect too soon. It's Rocky Restarts. Don Rompa V4. Rocky Restarts. Chapter 1, Deadly Life. Our boy. Our boy Glenn is gone. I didn't want it to be him. But I had a feeling it was going to be him. We gotta find out who done it. Who done did it. Who did done don gosh darn did do it. We won't wait. We gotta see who did it. I don't know who. Um, I think the only person I can actually vouch for is Kim Davis since we play as Kim. But that might be a trap. So who, who knows at this point. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. New game. Yes. Because I haven't started a game anyway. In the classic, go support. Don and Rapa, etc, etc. Etc, etc, etc. Oh, warning. This part features CGs with an execution with heavy... Oh, weird. This is like the, the end end of chapter. I'm sorry, what? Here I was being like, oh, this is the end end of chapter one. It's investigation, trial, and execution. Judge, jury, and executioner. And then you're dropping this on me. <laughs> What? Marie. Hello. I'm Marie. Marie Lambert. I'm known to the world as the ultimate vlogger. And? It looks like I'm dead. Y'all got some explaining to do. Keep going. Weird. I don't remember to me neither. <laughs> I do not recall. <laughs> I wonder how I died. Is this the afterlife? The afterlife is incredibly boring so far. Well, at least it's painless. I don't even feel. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Ah, uh... eek! I'm awake. I'm awake. Have we not discovered it yet? Uh, oh my god, what the heck? My eyes dash around the room as I scan everyone's faces. We all look horrified. I notice that the TV lit up, although I'm unable to see what's showing due to the blanket covering it. The body has been discovered and meet by the camp entrance immediately. And that's exactly what I feared the most. I'm also gonna turn that down a smidge for me. Let's go! Those are the only words I can muster. There's no way anyone did. with this. This is before we. I need to see this. I need to go to the camp entrance. Are we playing as? Oh. Well, that does not bode well for our homie Kim Davis. Can we talk to you? I guess no. We can't. I know how this game works. I remember. Everything that's interactable is in orange or blue. Orange be. I think orange or blue. That's correct. And blue is like the optional ones. Well, there's nothing orange here. Alright, well, I can do W. Okay. I gotta I had to get my bearings back. Okay, so we're Marie. That's cool. Okay, that's a weird collision. Whoops. 
I'm sure they didn't intend for anyone to walk down here, that's fine. Or maybe I just hit the perfect spot. <laughs> In which case, what can you do about that, am I right? Um... Huh. Oh. Oh my god. Glenn. What the hell? He's... He's dead. Oh my gosh. This is terrible. Whoa. This is a prank, right? Well, I mean, I mean, it doesn't look like it. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's probably not going to be able to hold herself together. What the heck? Who did this? Kim. Calm down. They're dead. No. He's dead. Kim falls to her knees and sobs. You're not gonna help the situation, Monokuma. Oh ho, oh ho ho. Yes indeed! Looks like we have a murder on our hands. As we usually do. Oh gosh. Oh hey! I forgot about you. <laughs> I'm actually excited, hold on. Eek! I knew it, I knew it. He was giving me like major death flag by and he was last time he was just throwing death flag over death flag over death flag but that made me suspect him the least and i should have suspected him the most hey skedaddle johnson skedaddle toodaloo to you chinatsu you mean you really johnson who knows yes sir monokuma i good luck with the investigation guys i'll be watch Stop now! <laughs> I like their relationship, I won't lie. We should have just gotten a robot. Moving on. Glenn's dead. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Kim's not wooing. She's she's not giving us that hearty woo. I don't, I'm not feeling that woo either. Neither is Julian. Oh. Seriously? Oh my gosh, it's just a body. Chit. Nora, it is not the time. Glenn is dead. Glenn is very much not alive. What do we do? I'm scared. I forgot everything about this game already. And not not everything, just like it's a, it's a, like this happens like all of the time when I do this. Um it just all starts coming back to me right at the beginning, like, boom, 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 boom. I was like, all right, this is classic this, we gotta think about this. And I was like, was there a motive last time? I was like, there was a motive last time you could escape with somebody. And then it's just jump, 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 jump. And I was like, why would Autumn... Autumn's probably in the clear, but I was like, no, she might not be in the clear. Let's continue. That's a good question. The Monokuma File! I think a good start would be the Monokuma File. Monokuma then hands each of us a tablet. With trembling hands, I grab mine and press the button at the bottom of the device. Ooh. Interesting. Boom. And then two body shots. Glenn Anderson, deceased. 5'8", 135, 18. The ultimate survivalist died first. Pathetic. Well, that's... <laughs> Being the ultimate survivalist is also a death flag, apparently. It's a shame he had to go so early in his life. Perhaps we should have... Shut up. Don't. No. Shut up. Oh gosh, he even gives you a picture of it. Which is a really nice touch for a game like this. Um, Because where you, you have like the 8-bit design on the actual one, you get an actual in-depth design during the monocoon file. I really like that. I think that's a really, a really good touch. Location. The victim was found by the camp entrance and also running through all of this in my head because i'm actually trying to figure it out alongside you guys <clears throat> which i didn't say at the beginning make sure to go into the description should have started with this i'm getting rusty my gosh and the links to the game and to the creator are there because you guys all told me about it but you know who knew about it first me because <laughs> I got the notification from their YouTube channel, because I ding dong bing bong their bell, because you gotta go and do that for all your favorite long guns. And I knew, because they posted a, I think an announcement for it on 
last Monday, and I was like, oh, well, <laughs> this is going to be a, <laughs> a busy week for me. <laughs> and it came out that um, Wednesday or Thursday, one of the two days. And I was like, well, I guess I'll, I'll play it sometime this weekend, and hopefully we can get it out Tuesday or Wednesday, but let's keep on going. So go ahead, in the description, make sure you know that, because that's how I know things. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh wait, hold on. This is still there. I didn't finish, because I was like, we need to do a thing. The victim died at 12.52 a.m., which is very curious. <laughs> so about 1 a.m. Near decapitation from the stab to the neck. What kind of... What could do... That would take a lot of force. That would take a lot of force. And it's also two other wounds to the... Don't forget about those. There's two wounds on the body, so they had to come from somewhere. But the cause of death was, was this one. Oh my gosh. Stabbed straight through the neck. You guys are brutal. Died at 1am. Most of us would have been asleep. We heard something or someone move likely in the cabin. Did one of us actually do this? Of course! Yes, one of you! <laughs> Campers is a psycho murderer. The question is, who is it? Which of you viciously took glimpse? Hey, clearly it's Sucky. Clearly. He's got... He... Sucky? Autumn threw out Sucky. She was like, Sucky, use Razor Leaf. And Sucky was like, Sucky, Sucky, shoom. And he, he got God. That's... That is what I'm at right now, because I've done no investigating. I'll give you guys until 8 to investigate. Well, thank you! That's a pretty good amount of time, I'll take that. I actually don't know what time it is right now. <laughs> Once the time comes, we'll start our very first trial. Ooh. Or, when you guys feel like you have enough evidence, we can start at that point, too. I do wonder, interesting. So, why don't we get started? No! No, this has gone too far. Can we please just stop this? Just let us go home, please? It, it seems like it's a little too late for that, Kim Davis. Oh, Kimmy. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. What the hell? You're late, boy. That's suspicious. Glenn. Old news. <laughs> well, what do we do? Also, just little minor touches. A lot of little minor touches, actually, to what we're seeing right here. Um, I, is this an actual mute button? It's an actual mute button. So, and that's over my face, so you can't really see it. In fact, just for, uh, clarity's sake, well, where am I? Top cam. Remove me for a hot second. Just in case it's important, there is a mute button right there. That will move me right back. <sighs> so... That's there. What I'm really curious about is in the upper left, there's a battery thing. So it almost feels like Maria's vlogging this. That's kind of just what I feel right now, but I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, so we'll just keep on keeping on. Let's go. Well, actually, hold on. I need to click back onto the screen. Investi uh, investigate the body, get some alibis, search Glenn's room, anything that could help you figure out which camper is the blackened. Now get started. <laughs> you guys are wasting time. I can hardly move. My eyes are only able to focus on the lifeless corpse in front of us. The one that's nearly decapitated. Everyone else seems to be frozen too. Monokum is obviously not joking around at this point. His killing game has a body count, and he's still completely serious. If no one else is going to take the lead investigation, or take lead in this investigation, then I won't. Like Munika, Munakura, Monokuma said, we can't be wasting time. If one of us really did kill Glenn, then we only have an hour. Here I was saying, oh, eight, that sounds generous. It's seven. <laughs> to find evidence towards his killer. <laughs> Need to find his killer. For Glenn? For Kim? For all of us. Kim, what do you want to do? Cry? I don't know. I don't know. I was going to say, she probably doesn't have the heart right now. Victor, we need to start this investigation. But, where should we start? I don't think that's important. We can start wherever. Meet me by my camera. Uh, my cabin. I'm going to get my camera. Uh, alright. I put my hands on Kim's shoulder. Kim. Hey. 
I promise. I'll make sure whoever did this doesn't get away with it. I promise. So... Julian, are you alright? Yeah, yeah, I, I just need a... You're the ultimate cop, you should be helping us. <laughs> get your ass out of here. Yeah, copper, find us the... Yeah, I was gonna say, he should be especially useful here. Find us the killer. I guess he's done throwing up. Oh, that outhouse has a flush? That's pretty good. That's outdoor plumbing. How advanced. <clears throat> Guys, I don't think I'll be able to handle his body. I'll have to search rooms or something. Ugh, pussy. I think I'd like to search rooms as well. I'm scared. Me too. This is too scary for Sucky and I. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to search his body. I don't want to leave that up to anyone else. Better get my camera so I can record the evidence. So we don't forget anything important. I'll be back in a second. Victor? I'll be waiting. And if anyone finds anything important, let me know. Psst. Yes? Just a little reminder. To interact with things like Marie's camera, click on it. I remember, don't you, thank you for the reminder though. <laughs> I remembered immediately as I started playing, I was like, how does this game function? How does this game function? I was like, ah, yes, yes, yes. Where does she live? Where does she live? <laughs> I'm going to assume it's here where my boy Victor is. Thank you for putting him there. <laughs> I appreciate that. Alright, so I assume that is her camera, the thing that's kind of sort of orangish. Or I guess as orange as it can be because it's a dark item. Before grabbing the, uh, grabbing the camera, I take a big breath of air. Glenn's actually dead. This killing game is real. No more ignoring the killing aspect of this trip. No more pretending we're all safe. Either one of us brought Glenn's, uh, Glenn's worst fear to reality or Monokuma's lying, and Glenn actually killed himself. I don't think you would be- well, I was, I was, I'm here saying that I don't think you would be able to nearly decapitate yourself, but I guess if you set something up, you could do that. Alright. I have an hour to get as much info as I can. Let's do this. Investigation start. Alright, let's get out of here. And I assume now we can talk to a whole bunch of folk. Oh, you coming hey. over here and interrupting me. Hey. What did you want me here for? Oh, right. I want you to be with me during this investigation. Oh. Are you sure you want me? I'm probably not the best to... with this investigation stuff. I need someone to bounce ideas off of while I investigate two heads. Or better than one, right? Or the classic Keenan and Kel original movie, two heads are better than none. Nobody's gonna get that reference, eh? I guess so. Well... So you're gonna find this killer? Yeah, ready as I'll ever be. Uh, I was gonna say you'd- Ooh, his room, that's true. I definitely need to check out Glenn's room, there might be some evidence in there. He hasn't been in there in ages! We haven't- Ooh, that's right, I can shift to run, look at me go. Alright. Can I use the control- Yes, we did get through this, I was like, we can use the controller. Um, and I never figured out what run was on the controller, so I was like, uh, maybe not. Really? None of these buttons? I'm sure it's not- yeah, we'll just use the keyboard. I just- the click clacking will probably pick up a little bit. What's up? I gotta click you. Hey guys, are you both doing alright? Well. Oh well. I'm really sad about the situation, but yeah, I'm doing alright. Same for me. Why do you ask? Obviously everyone's worried about Kim, but I haven't seen the same for you two. You were both friends with him as well, right? Well... Well... Yeah... Gosh. I should have talked with him more before this. Should have made him feel like I was more of a friend. And... Why didn't you tell me about his plans too? He only told Kim. Did he not trust me? Kim. Did he think his only friend was Kim? I also cared about him. Marie, you did what you could. No, well... You did what you thought you could. Maybe he wouldn't have tried to leave if he knew more people cared about him. Stop. <laughs> now you're gonna make him cry. We barely hung out with him. I only really talked to him at breakfast and dinner. There, there. Oh, group hug. It's all in the past. 
I'm sure he knew you both. Uh, you both were friends and cared about him. Uh, he didn't trust him. <laughs> he was probably just more comfortable with him. I know it might seem hard, but you don't want every. Uh, you don't want to brood over past decisions. Fair though. Focusing on what you could have done is a waste of time. Use your past interactions to guide your future decisions, not distract from them. That's a good quote. That's very quotable. It's hard not to think about what we could have done differently, but try to focus on the present and future as much as possible. And uh, as that's actually something you can change. I wipe the tears from my eyes. Thank you. Thanks for showing some concern, Dennis. I honestly kind of even forgot I had feelings. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no problem. Now let's find that killer. Dope. All right. Uh, this is Kim's room or his room? All right, this seems like his room. Can't click on anything in this room except for Kim and our boy here. What's up? Julian. Hey, Julian, what's up? Dang. Just trying to stay with Kim. I feel bad for her, you know? No, oh, and searching rooms, of course. Thought we'd start with Glenn since, you know, he's not alive. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't think a murder would actually happen. I thought we were all pretty friendly with each other. Which is why my current uh, suspects are Harmony, Nora, Jesse, and Emily. I don't think it's any of them. Wait, why them? Harmony and Jesse are both pretty distant from all of us, and capable of murder, I think. Nora and Emily are just insane. Some of them even have motives too. I can see Harmony killing to escape with Alexander, Jesse to escape with Angela. That's the one that I didn't want to happen, but was thinking about happening. I was thinking it might be Angela. But one of her alters. And Nora to escape with Anna. You're right. Yeah, I forgot about the motive. I did too until it all literally came rushing back to me. <laughs> Emily doesn't have an obvious motive, but I feel like she'd kill someone for fun, so. Yeah, I guess so. To be honest, I don't see any of them committing murder. Well, a murder appears to have been committed, so it's very possible. He's not wrong. Alright, Kim. Kim. Kim, honey. How you doing? Kim. Hey, Kim. You, uh, you doing all right? No. Yeah, just trying to figure out who did all of this, I guess. I'm really sorry. I know you were the most close to Glenn out of all of us. So, have you found anything interesting yet? <laughs> Me and Victor have been searching. <laughs> well, well, it looks like he was using his drawers to barricade his door. You know, since it's in front of the door like that. And he also took a lot of the stuff like sheets and blankets and clothes. But I think he left his mama pad. Oh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was, uh, he meant to take it with him. What do you mean? He told him that Monokuma would only allow him to live in the forest if he took his mono uh, monopad and slow uh, sh that, that, that showed up to class trials. And his monopad's obviously here, so I don't think Monokuma would have liked that. Oh my god. Do you think I'm the reason he died? Probably not. Um... Do you think it's possible... That he came back? To charge his monopad? Because he has no method of charging it in the wild? No way. What? No, of course not, no. Until we find someone suspicious, then everyone's innocent. Innocent until proven guilty. She's right. No, I mean... I, I told everyone his plan. What if someone decided to search for... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it might be your fault. What if someone decided to search in the forest and look for him? And then they found him and killed him. No, that's absolutely not the reason. He clearly came back here. Maybe to charge his monopad. But then he shouldn't have left without it? Oh, who knows? I should have just kept my mouth shut. Ken. Ken. Glenn's body was found here, not in the forest. Probably came back to get his monopad and then someone killed him. I was gonna say something like that. There's no trail of blood. Would someone- But there's also no pool of blood there. Would someone just kill him like that on the spot? This had to be planned. I am so, so sorry. Even if the info you gave did help the killer, you aren't the reason he died. 
Glenn's murder is the reason he died, you shouldn't feel guilty. Unless it is you, in which case, <laughs> you should feel a little guilty. Unless you don't do this, you're not supposed to say that to her. <laughs> Look, Victor, I appreciate you and I appreciate the same brain moment we just had, but you can't say that to her because she's about to pop off. Or Marie's about to give you that. Okay, thanks, Victor. Anyways. <laughs> Way to blow him off. Uh, don't worry, Kim. You had to tell us. And even if you didn't, I'm sure Monokuma would have. Maybe, maybe not. Glenn's fear in the whole living in the forest thing is definitely going to be important for later in that case. I need to keep that in mind. Excellent. And there's Glenn's fear. And I think that's everything you need. Alright. So... Where else do we gotta go? We had a slumber party in here, right? Well, can't go in there, so I guess that's not important. Uh, we didn't go in there. Oh, hey! What are, what are you up to? Hey, Alexander, what's up? You look free, too. Yeah. Yeah. Because I almost died last night. Whoa, what? Ah, see, I hate to let her out like this, but I hate to out her like this, but Alexander pulls a piece of paper from under his cape. I need a break from the. Oh. Ooh. I need a break from all the girls. I need a real man. Meet me by the shop tonight at 12:30 tonight, Angela. I think it is one of the Angelus. Not simply because of this, but I feel like they all wrote differently in their books. And I feel like one of them did write with hearts, with the eyes and the periods, or with any dot. But it's also weird that they didn't do it. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not weird because it would look dumb. <laughs> For the colon where there's two dots. <laughs> Why there's not two hearts there. Keep it consistent, Angel. <laughs> we are in a killing game, and you guys are... Anyways. Moving on. I mean, before this happened, no one ever took it seriously, so I give them a pass. Where did that come from? What it's even? whatever. Yeah, Angela totally wanted me. I was gonna tell her I don't like her or whatever, but... When I got there, I saw someone with a knife and, you know, didn't want to mess anyone up, so I... No, because you just didn't want to get stabified. I, uh, quickly ran back to my room and slammed my door as a warning. A warning? Figure in the forest with a knife. Yeah, a warning. Wait, so... Wait, so you saw the killer? Uh, yeah, and I almost possessed <laughs> him. I don't buy that, Alexander. Sadly, I was only able to see his silhouette, so I didn't catch much of their appearance. His. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you didn't catch their appearance, why were you able to say his? Why were you able to give a gender? The person you saw was a he? I just said that because they had shortish, shortish hair and pants on. Could have still been a girl. Huh, but that's that's something. That's good. That's good information. That that eliminates some people. Huh, alright. Wait, when did you get that letter then? Well, well, I was doing my usual night jog when I got back to my cabin. I noticed the note under my door. What time was that? Probably like 9.15? I don't keep track of that crap, so at about 9.15 you. you got back. So it was before 9.15 that she dropped off that note. Yeah, whatever. Hey, Victor. Would Angela really write something like this? Doesn't seem like her. Marie, trust me. The ladies will do anything to get with me. Right? No. <laughs> She's out here shutting everyone down post-haste, and I'm here for that energy. Oh, this is where we were. Any clues in here? Yeah, we can go back in here, don't. Any clues in here? I see not nary a clue, unfortunately. Alright, well that's fine. We don't need a clue from in there, because we get to talk to our homie, the ghost hunter. What's up? Hey Mel, what's up? Just thinking about how we're probably all going to be dead in a few hours. Well, what makes you say that? Because if we don't find the killer, we all die in a couple of hours. Egg. We're not smart enough to find a murderer, no way. I'm going to say Melody didn't do it then. Because she's like, <laughs> I'm just thinking about how we're all going to be dead in a couple of hours. Unless she's doing the big brain move right now, we're going to count her out. I can't even get in contact with Glenn's spirit to ask him anything, my gosh. <laughs> Marie, do you think one of us at the sleepover did this? No. Wouldn't we have seen someone leave the room? Well, didn't Glenn die while we were asleep? They could have left really quietly. I mean, 
I guess. The sleepover is pretty important to remember, though, since people didn't, who didn't go are pretty suspicious. Who didn't go? All the boys, Harmony, Nora, and Autumn. Yeah, Harmony was supposed to show up. It's Nora. Huh? Wait, why? Because she's a criminal and criminals kill people. No, she's a petty thief. She's not killed anybody. Anyway, I did wake up last night and saw everyone was asleep, so... You did? But what time? Yeah. You were whispering something- Ooh. That's good. You were whispering something at me, or whispering at me or something. I didn't respond because I was mad at you. I was mad that you woke me up. But yeah, I looked around, yo. Yeah. Oh, right. I swear I heard a loud slam last night. And that loud slam was Alexander slamming his door. I tried to wake you guys up, so he's in the clear. I tried to wake you guys up, but I figured it wasn't important, so I gave up. Gosh, maybe that was Glenn. No, 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 no. The loud noise was probably the door slamming. Wait, how do you know we were all there? It was way too dark to see. I can see, like, really good in the dark. Paranormal investigator jeans, you know? <laughs> She's got that night vision. I guess having big, <sighs> freaky bug eyes could be good for that, huh? Victor. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to work on your, your soft skills, my boy. Huh? What was that? Wait. But Murray, when did you hear that noise? I think that I might have heard something like that too last night. Oh. I have no clue. I didn't check the time. Yeah, me neither. I just assumed it was part of the dream I was having. Well, thanks, Melody. We should probably get to some other people. <sighs> no problem. Now find this killer so we don't die. Okay. That's the plan. I'm a big fan of not dying. It's one of my favorite, uh, favorite activities to do. If I'm going to be right, he's not alive. Um. <laughs> um, just for sanity's sake. Let's go all the way down, just for sanity's sake. And check out the kitchen. And this area. Just for sanity's sake. Because there, there could be somebody in here. There are orange things in here, that is true. Hmm. Huh, dinner schedule. Do you not know the dinner schedule? Open all week, 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Enter while it's closed and I'll cry. <laughs> okay, so... No. I've never been in here. Oh, well, yeah, here it is. Kinda shitty this dinner even closes at all since there's it has the only bathroom well there's an outhouse that has flushing so at night the only option is the outhouse never even been in the outhouse trust me you want to keep it that way especially since someone just barfed in there or i guess you could piss in the river but yeah it still kind of sucks that this place is this is the only bathroom here that's interesting 5 a.m to 10 p.m now i should remember that and these these knives. Hey, Victor. Hey, Victor. Do you think the killer used one of these knives? Wasn't there a knife right next to Glenn? The killer probably used that. True, but that knife wasn't bloody, was it? I don't remember. Well, let's just keep this in mind anyway. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. That is very interesting. All right. Just gonna check the bathroom just because you know nothing here that's fine all right i am glad that we came back down here though that's two very important pieces of evidence because <sighs> we gotta work out everything to be completely honest uh we can rush up here i guess now we can check on glenn because i think we've been into every location that i feel like is important before going off to the right but let's go ahead and check out the body. Oh gosh. Whoever did this is gonna get a beating. They're gonna get a- th They're going to get got if we find them. They'll get more than a beating. I get on my knees and look over at Glenn's body. I'm so sorry, Glenn. Looking over his body, I see two stab wounds to his chest and a deep stab wound to the neck. Looks like the wound might even go straight through. But I feel like if I look any closer, I'll throw up. Honestly, really. <laughs> I noticed Victor looking through the Monokuma file. 
12.52 a.m. That's pretty late. Cause of death near decapitation, it looks as though he was cut through the neck. Interesting. The stab wound goes quite deep. Emily put her finger in and said she felt grass. Oh my gosh! Emily, what on earth? What? Why is Emily sticking her finger in his wounds? Dude, this is the perfect time to see what the inside of a neck feels like. Well, I guess you don't really get too many opportunities, so I'm gonna let you have this one. Am I? I guess. So anyone who was alone at 1252 was pretty suspicious, which is like, everyone. Not really. I saw the sleepover weren't alone, which means it was definitely one of y'all. I hope his death was fast. Well. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, his hand was on his neck, which suggests he was alive for at least some time after he was killed. He also has two stab wounds. And since he wasn't clutching at those, I assume that... Okay, well, also, there is a pool of blood, so he 100% got murdered here. Right here. And this is where it happened. Not to mention the fact that he appears to have written in his notebook while he was dying. Why didn't he scream for help? We definitely would have heard, and then maybe someone- He has a cut through his neck, sir! Ugh. Why don't you cry, try screaming with a big hole in your throat? Exactly, sir! Glenn's corpse, okay. Oh, we can click the little things, too, okay. Small knife. A knife? <laughs> yeah. Is it Glenn's? Typical. Does look like it. Looks all try hard, like a survivalist would have it. It's not bloody. So I'm not sure it's the murder weapon. The killer must have used something else. Wow. If only the killer had any water to wash it with. Why would they wash the murder weapon and then just leave it there? Why wouldn't the killer throw it? All the evidence in the river to begin with because there's a rule against that, well... right? Right, according to rule number three, don't throw things in the river or forest. And what constitutes as the forest? If I killed someone in the forest, or water, would that be considered throwing something? Okay guys, let's get back on topic. They don't seem to vibe too much. Okay, let's look at this book, and now that I realize that it seems like that might be forged evidence, whatever's in this book might also be forged. Hmm. What's this? AH2? What's this? Looks like Glenn tried to write something in his dying breaths. A N or H? Maybe a, a nine? Or, I have no. It looks like it could be Angela. Right? That nine could be a big old G. That big two. Big A. It looks like it could be Angela. I was thinking A and G, but now that looks too incriminating. So maybe he was trying to tell us that Angela killed him or something. Angela's the killer. Have you guys looked at any other pages? They're all super soggy from the rain last night, so we weren't able to read much. Yeah? Yeah, but Marcus was able to read a little bit. It's just his journal. I couldn't find anything too important in there. Just a lot of him being paranoid about nothing. Dude spent like two pages freaking over the fact that he felt like he forgot something. Hey, what's going on? Where did you come from? Angela was panicking and... Oh, y'all switched. <coughs> hey, how you doing? Holy! What? Shit, what happened? Well, he died. And you're one of the number one suspects. Glenn met a tragic fate last night, and we're trying to figure out who caused it. Who has done it, as they say. And Marina, this notebook isn't helping your case. Huh? Marina consciously kneels over the notebook. I can tell it's difficult for her to take her eyes off of the corpse. Ange. No way. Did Angela... No. No way. Either Angela or Angie. I was gonna say, they... <laughs> you both are starting off with it. Whatever her to fly. Angie's definitely innocent. I don't know about Angela. <laughs> this man is friends with a single altar, and then the other two he is willing to throw under the bus even though if the other two die, he can't talk to the one that he's cool with. They're both guilty. I don't even think they did. <laughs> I'm sorry, the fact that you said 
<laughs> Angel is innocent, or Angie's innocent. Oh, Jesse. I don't even think they'd kill someone in self-defense. That's just not them. Well. What about you? Well, I can assure you that I didn't kill him. I'd never hurt anyone. Okay, murderer. Oh, by the way, what are you even meant to do? I asked Angelo about how the killing game even worked, and her response was, if we kill, then we can escape or something, I think. But that's obviously not the best explanation. Well, well from what I remember, if you kill someone and get away with it, then you're able to leave and the rest of us die. But if the murderer is caught, then you're promptly executed. And of course, a murder has occurred, so our lives seem to <laughs> depend on figuring who did this. <laughs> exactly. And right now we're in the investigation stage, as it says at the bottom left corner. In about an hour we should- oh, it's less than an hour now. <clears throat> we should go on to the trial. The trial? I think it's like court role play or something. <laughs> you know what, Jesse? You're hitting a lot today. That's not wrong. He's not incorrect. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm guessing we're meant to discuss the case and decide on who the killer is there. All right, well then, I guess I'll try and defend Angela, Angie, and I at the trial later rather than here. Don't want to waste our time after all. Speaking of which, wouldn't Angie be the best one to take control for this? I'm pretty sure she was in control during the time of the murder, so she might have some useful info. I don't want Angie to have to see this. She wouldn't handle it well. And Angela, well, I'm not so sure she wants to front right now. If it's required for the trial, then we can try to switch, but no guarantee is Angela. What if Angela's just heartbroken? Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, well, that's that. Oh, I can talk to all three of you, actually. Sure. Oh, poor Glenn. He should have came to me for some help. With huh? what? What do you mean? I could have taught him how to fight back, how to scream. Doesn't everyone know how to scream? Not if there's a big hole in your neck. I'm sure she's had injuries where she's be like, <laughs> how do you scream with no windpipe? Well, not like this. Ah! Jesus, stop, stop. Okay, yeah, we get it. You screamed so hard that you were vibrating. Jeez, is everyone okay? Yes, yes, we're fine. I guess. Just Emily being herself. Well, sheesh. Don't do that, I thought someone else died. Good to know that you were also a yeah. potential talker too. Yeah, so I'm a pretty good screamer. Okay, well, back to investigating. <laughs> All right, uh, so we got our two boys here. Marcus, hey Marcus. Greetings. Greetings, Marie. You know, even with this being a tragedy, I can't help but get inspiration. This has quite a lot of potential for a good poem. I've never been in a situation so dramatic. Okay. Roses are red, violets are blue, Glen are dead. <laughs> well... Moving on. Do you have any major suspects yet, Murray? No, not really. I'm trying to keep my opinion that everyone's innocent until the trial begins. That's a good stance to be on, although I have my opinions. And those are... I'd like to refrain from saying. I don't want to make baseless accusations. Fair enough. Okay. And Jesse? Here we go. Oh, Glenn. If only you weren't so scared of nothing. Once again, he's not wrong. Scared of nothing? His fear happened to him. That's not nothing. She's also not wrong. <laughs> she was 100% correct. That was his fear, and now it has happened. Maybe. If he didn't try to run away, maybe he'd still be alive. Come on, Marie. Admit it. He got himself into the situation. It's true, he raised a bunch of death flags for himself. He didn't know. He was trying to get away from all of this. And look where he is, right back into it. Should have stayed here and accepted his fate like the rest of us. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, well. You're both there. We can go up here. Okay, well, there's nothing up there. Great. Um, I wish I knew where he was. There's storage. Is there anything in storage? Should go everywhere. Nothing. No. Nothing suspiciously orange in here. That's a nice box. That's a nice another box. Alright, well, okay. Everything in there is safe. <coughs> laundry. Anything in laundry. Have we been in laundry? We've been in laundry. 
There's just a bunch of clothes scattered all over the place. Oh, there's people in here. Okay. Oh! Oh, there's a little bit of blood on that top left laundry machine. What's up? Whoa, what's that? Gosh, is that blood? Nope. No. Oh, it's not? Yep, no blood here. Hunter! I'm pretty sure that's blood. Looking down at the floor, I see a bunch of tiny blood splatters. <clears throat> Wait, Hunter, what makes you think it's not blood? Never mind. Never mind, it might be blood. Alright, well maybe the killer washed their clothes in here. Well, that would make sense. They wouldn't have, uh, they wouldn't have cared that they were leaving, uh, but wouldn't they have cared that they're leaving all of this blood everywhere? Exactly. Obviously. Not necessarily. If the killer got bloody, they would obviously have to wash their clothes. So I don't think this tells us much. I open the washing machine and look inside. What the? What the hell is this? In the washing machine, I find what appears to be really wet clothes. While grabbing them, I notice they're absolutely soaking in blood. Ew, but whose clothes huh? are they? <coughs> is that Harmony's clothes? Looks like it. No. Oh no, Sucky, calm down. I know how much you like blood, but you have to contain yourself. Sucky, you have some explaining to do. Dark Lord Sucky. Okay, well, Harmony's the killer. Not necessarily. If Harmony was the killer, why would she leave such a massive piece of evidence like this? Maybe she wasn't paying attention. Well, I can't believe Harmony killed Glenn. Wow. Hunter, are you alright? He's been acting strange all morning. Hey, we all grieve differently. Let's not put him on the spot like this. I am not weird. Well, I'm not acting weird. This is just crazy. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Alright, well. <clears throat> He's scaring me. Sick him, sucky. Alright, uh, let's talk to Autumn. See how she's doing. How you doing? Marie, this is really scary. I know. We're gonna get through this. I'm sure. Certain! In fact, there are three certainties in life. Death, taxes, and we're gonna get through this. I guess we've already seen one of the... One of the three certainties. Continue. I don't think I'm smart enough to do this kind of thing. Oh no. Hey, Autumn. You're not dumb. I'm pretty sure this entire thing is new to everyone. I promise. We're gonna have to work together to get through this. And I promise we'll find Glenn's killer. And get out of this just fine. Except for the killer. We all just need to calm down. Have you guys ever heard of mind vacations? No. Basically. We just have to imagine we're on a vacation. It's amazing. You get to do whatever. You get to do it whenever, wherever, and for free. Just close your eyes and pretend you're at home and Glenn's alive. Ready? Uh, alright. Hello, brother. I'm so happy to see you. Aw, Suki. Suki. <laughs> Look, it's mommy. You know what? <laughs> Victor, this is a bad. Sheesh. God, Victor, we're not doing this. Uh, it's so nice to be home, Suki. We should order a pizza to celebrate. Oh, hello, Glenn. You're here to purchase my leader's audiobook, I assume. <laughs> This man isn't even making a profit in his dreams. Can I click on the attire? No, I can't. It's just there. Alright, well, <clears throat> glad we went in there. That's super useful. Uh, we will- wow, ooh, there's Monokuma. I assume talking to him will continue the- or maybe we can't talk to him yet. Ooh, she might provide some- oh, she's optional, so maybe she won't provide any useful information. Hello, how you- ooh, there's a nurse's office too. Can I go in there? I sure can't. Hello. Oh my gosh! 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., so it would be closed. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Murray, Murray. What? Don't you think it's like super ironic that the ultimate survivalist died first? And like, this will give Kim some major emotional development since like, Glenn was her friend and he's dead. Ahahaha. <laughs> Chinatsu! What's wrong with you? <laughs> We're real people. Oh my gosh. What's it like seeing his body? Was it like super scary? Go get him, Kim. Oh, go get Kim. I want to talk to her about this, like, really bad. Are you kidding me? Victor, hold me back. She's about to throw some hands. Victor's like, I'm not going to hold you back. Go for it. Are you excited for the trial? You guys are going to be like, no, that's wrong. And I'm going to be like, OMG, yes. <laughs> not wanting a separate child trial for Chinatsu. I decided it's best. I sound her out. I walk away. We're done here, Chinat. Is this a different area? No, it's not. Okay. It's still Glenn's dead body over there. 
Alright, so there's two things here. The map might be useful. We'll talk to you first since you're optional. Poor Glenn. He's in a better place. But like, did he have to die? This is so annoying. I just wanted to wake up and have a difficult shitty day. Eat breakfast, practice my singing, and cry. But no, that's your typical day? Well, I guess it's a typical, typical day here. <clears throat> we have to waste our time with a stupid trial BS while we're all probably going to die. I just want this to end already. Maybe we should all rebel against Monokuma and try to kill him or something. That's not gonna work. Listen. Trust me, you do not want to mess with him. I tried to kick him a little bit, and he tased me. I forgot y'all have tasers in you. I've been tased before, so like, who cares? But I know you guys would probably cry and <laughs> Fine. I won't mess with him. Alright, well, looks like you might be the last one. Girl, calm down. Your clothes probably just blew away or something. Interesting. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but like, it's still my clothes. I want them back. So she is being framed. Probably not by Nora. <clears throat> you have a trillion extras, you're fine. Wait, what's going on? Harmony left her clothes out last night and they're gone. Yeah, you probably stole them. You? Why would I want your ugly, crusty clo- How can clothes be crusty? That's uncomfortable. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Why did you leave your clothes out last night? While we were, were swimming, this hoe splashed my clothes, so I left them out to dry. Hey, Autumn was splashing too. Oh, right. Oh, right. You guys were swimming. Gosh, trying to get sleep last night was the worst because of the stupid midnight swimming lake party they were apparently having. Okay, can I get more information about that? First it was Kim trying to talk- First it was Emily trying to talk to Kim and I while we were going to sleep. And then I had to listen to Harmony, Nora, and Autumn be as loud as possible, laughing, yelling, and singing all night. And then Nora and Autumn got all pissed at each other right by Angela's cabin. Really those two? So I had to go outside and tell them to shut up. And that's not even mentioning the loud slam that I heard. I felt like everything was trying to keep me up, or everything was trying to halt out any noise. Uh, yeah? yeah? So it probably is Autumn and Nora? But like, we've... <clears throat> so we had the... I'm thinking. We have suspicion on those two, but we also have suspicion on Melody and Alexander. Alexander was the slam. Those three were the loud talking. It's gotta be someone in the, that group of four. But even so, it would be a matter of figuring out which of them actually did it. Because if you pick the wrong one of them, everyone still gets got except for those two. You guys could have come, you know. Wait, what time were you guys doing this? Well, we got in at like, I don't know, 9.30? And we got out at 2. You guys got out at 2 and didn't see him? I actually got out a little bit earlier, but they decided I couldn't be left alone. <clears throat> come on, yeah, you had fun. Why else would you have stayed in there with us for like four hours? Interesting. <clears throat> so I guess that puts them in the clear, unless one of them is working with someone else. Maybe Sucky really did do the murder. Gosh, do you know how effing annoying you were? Yeah, you already told me. Wait, we were? Yeah, you guys were doing it on purpose. So were you guys doing it on purpose? Nora was like screeching or something and she kept doing <laughs> some dumb witch laugh. Oh, Harmony was giving singing lessons. Oh my gosh. I'm guessing that's what you heard. You were not. You should stop doing that. Yeah, and you suck. Well, it kept waking me up. Anyway, if you guys were really out to build and told too, that means you were swimming at the time of the murder. Where was that? Where were you guys swimming? In that case, that gives those two an alibi. Correct? Mm hmm. That gives those two an alibi. Melody. If it gives the two of them an alibi while he was being murdered. <clears throat> that means they couldn't have done it. But if Melody is working with Alexander, then that slam was just to give himself an alibi. 
Okay. Just buy the stock. That's close to where he supposedly died. That's close to where he supposedly died, yeah. And you guys would have seen the murder, right? I don't know. We rock. Well, we walked right where he was killed. We would have seen him. Oh. And Nora, what were you and Autumn doing last night? When I went to yell at you. <laughs> or, you're asking too many questions. It's making me nervous. But, uh, well, we were going back to Harmony's cabin to get something to wear. Ah, right. Wait, Marie, you went to yell at them? Yeah. More specifically, Nora, when she gave me attitude when I told her to quiet down. Autumn was nice, so I let her go in. And get clothes or whatever. Okay. <laughs> so that's why Nora was apologizing when they got back. You made her feel bad. Maria had nothing to do with that. It was Autumn that made me feel bad. Anyways. So I don't think it was those two. Fight with Nora. But that I guess that would have been after two. It's just the blatant putting of Harmony's clothes in the washer just seems really dumb. And unless Alexander is an idiot, there were spare clothes, did he like, use them to clean something? I don't even know. I think we should move on to other things. Yeah, you're right. Well, thanks guys. Bitch, where's her clothes? They're in the washing machine. Is that- I think that's everything. <clears throat> Let's look at Monokuma. He's not the right color, so maybe it's not everything. Sling set. <clears throat> There's nothing random anywhere. Can't do anything there. Let me go back around. Alright, so we'll just do a quick search. There's nothing up here, correct? Left or right? <clears throat> that's, so that's everything in this area. Yeah. I can't go in here, correct? Alright, well, let's go back. Observed everything there. There's nothing mysterious up here or down here. Can I go into everyone's place? <clears throat> Can't go in there. We've been in here. And there was nothing in here. We're just being thorough. Before we walk over there. There's nothing orange there. The mannequin head has really been throwing me off. That's, that's the only thing that I would have been like, oh, you know. Look at that, that's uh, yeah, that seems a little suspicious. Let's go to Harmonies. We can't? <clears throat> can't go there. I'm also keeping out for anything that could be orange. Oh, this is our area, that's fine. Uh, did he follow me in here? I was about to say you better know. Oh, he did. How dare you? Come back out here. Nothing there. I also... That's... Okay... That's that. That's Victor's. Just checking every door, you guys. Thoroughness. Uh, and let's make sure we didn't miss anything in here. And we'll go back down, and if that's everything, we'll just go back up. <coughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm not blind. Okay. We'll head back out. Unless it was that rope that was, like, supposed to be orange. Or a different color. No, I was gonna say, that's not orange enough to constitute clicking. Hmm. Nothing in here. There was nothing in the bathroom. I was gonna say I'm glad he didn't follow me uh, follow me in here, but he sure did. Um, this is the only bathroom, sir. Take take your uh, take your time. And we got the two things in here, correct? And there's no other exit here, right? Like there's no back exit. Sack of potatoes over there. Yeah, I think we're good. Interesting. But now I feel like I'm missing something. Okay. Eyes peeled. None of those trash cans are randomly orange. Okay. 
I mean, if, if that's that, I'm fine with going. You are here, there's nothing randomly orange on the map. The ultimate camp. Okay. I think I found everything. Well, there's nothing in here. That's the only place that I've walked in that there's been nothing. Let me make sure I can't touch anything in here. No. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm. I'm go. I'm gonna go talk to Monokuma. I think we're set. You, uh, okay. O okay. And we can't. Okay. All right. I, I just just I'm, it just feels so suspicious. What do you have to say? How are you? No, I actually can't. I can't talk to you, so I am missing something. Interesting. But what can I be missing? <clears throat> What's been orange that I haven't clicked? Now oh, I gotta pay closer attention. Must be some m minute detail. Can't be anything over here, and I can't go in here, correct? Right? I'm not just bad. All right. Okay. Come back around here. It's probably something. Is it these footsteps? It is. Gosh darn it. I, s I saw them various times. I was like, oh, that's some interesting pine cones. It's just the footsteps. Okay. Oh. Huh. Are those footprints? It looks like it. The dirt must have been pretty soft due to the rain. Was someone over here or over there for something? How did they not notice they were leaving massive footprints? Well, if they're, if they're for an innocent reason, then obviously whoever left them wouldn't care. But if the murderer left them, then it must be pretty careless. If it is a careless murderer, it's Alexander. Hmm. Yeah, leaving such obvious evidence behind. The killer would have would have to be someone dumb, or they're trying to frame someone. So it's either Alexander, or someone's good at framing. Too bad half the people here are complete idiots, so that doesn't tell us much. Whoa, Victor. I wouldn't say that. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, mostly. Not really. I feel like I found all the stuff I need. I guess I could go to Monokuma and tell him I'm ready to look around, or, or look around a little more. I think I've checked everywhere I want to check. You got any places you want to well. look around? Well, we checked the body, his room. We spoke to everyone that seemed to have info. We checked the kitchen, which I think would be a prime murder weapon location. I think we checked everywhere that I'd want to check. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Well, now I feel comfortable going. Yeah, my man's is orange now. Let's do it. Monokuma, I think we're ready to start this bad boy. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we found all the evidence Lynn's killer would have left if behind. You please. Well, you're gonna have to wait. We can't get to the trial until everyone's ready. Not just you. Or until the hours pass, so you guys still have some time left. <sighs> Alright, Victor, come on, I guess we can double check everything while we wait. Are you gonna make me do it? No, everyone's just here. Alright, all those two are sitting on the f swings, that's nice. So are we all here? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sadly. Well, do you have any idea on the killer? I guess I have some idea. Hey, hey, we're just about to start the trial. Keep the culprit discussion to a minimum till then. What the fuck's a trial? <laughs> a, a camp trial where you all discuss who committed the murder. Doesn't it sound so fun? Ooh, poo, poo, poo. No, I'm not fully convinced you're the one. You aren't the one who killed Glenn. I guess that's, he's still an option, fair. Me? Correct. Yes, you. I don't see any of us committing a murder. You, on the other hand, seem very capable. Me? Capable? I'm just a little teddy bear. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to. The person controlling you, however, could have done this to get the killing game started. He's not wrong. And he could be framing someone. And we could be falling for it, but you know... And perhaps you set up this entire investigation trial just so you could give us that glimmer of hope 
that we'd be able to find Glenn's killer before promptly executing us. Oh, Marcus. I would never interfere with the killing game in such a massive way. You have... Every time, except for the second time in canon play. Yes? Did he interfere in the second one? No? No, I don't think so. You get a you get a you get a rain check until I start like thinking hard about the second game. For the other ones, you interfering all the time, doing all your shenanigans. If I did that, <coughs> that would ruin all my hard work, wouldn't it? Huh? Hmm? What do you mean? Gathering you all, erasing your memory, setting up camp, getting all the monopads, hiring Chinatsu. If I were to commit a murder, all of my setup and he's got a valid point. <clears throat> all of my work in setting up this killing game would be for nothing. And plus, if I really wanted to get the killing game going, I'd just give more modems. Please. Please, can whoever did this just mess up? Dude, he died like nine hours ago. Glenn died at 12.52, which would make his death seven hours ago. Not nine. <laughs> Whatever, nerd. Suck in math. <laughs> Nora. Uh-oh. Moving on, I'd like to get this started as soon as possible. At the end of this path are the minecarts. Oh, hold on. We play in Minecraft? We'll be using to get to the trial room. Just hop in one, and once we're all in, we can get going. Wait. We get to ride in minecarts? Uh -huh. Can't we just do the trial out here? Why do we have to take some weird minecarts to the trial room? It's just the aesthetic, okay? <laughs> get over it. I understand that. You gotta keep things aesthetically pleasing. You gotta keep things like it. Uh, <clears throat> get to it before Chinatsu can, uh, tries to convince me to let her come. Nobody wants to. Uh, go on, be gone. Alright, I guess I better get into this minecart. Uh, you're kinda bl Monokuma, you're, you're kinda in uh, Monokuma, if you- uh, Monokuma, you- got Monokuma, I'll push you- I'll push you up. Got Monokuma, Monokuma, I swear you. Monokuma, I'm uh, fine, I'll go around you. Alright, <coughs> couldn't walk through Monokuma, unfortunately, but we are gonna walk through these mysterious woods. What's up here? There's like a path up here. Out oh, to some cliffs. That's cool. It would have been really neat if there were, like, a hidden piece of, like, information or something up here. But that's clearly not the case. That would have been kind of dope, though. <clears throat> but I feel like people wouldn't have found that. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have found that if it weren't for... Ooh. Nice minecarts. Okay, what's up? Oh, this is cute. Instead of an elevator, they're all in little minecarts. I like this a lot, actually. <laughs> the ride felt like it went on forever. We all tried to talk about random, inconsequential things to distract ourselves from the stress, but I could tell. We were all terrified. Woo! You need to stop with- Most of us were terrified, at least. I noticed Kim lost and thought the entire ride. Kim, you doing alright? Yeah. I'm just thinking. Any of us could have killed Glenn. Either you could have- Either of you could have killed Glenn. Neither of you did this, right? Of course not. We were friends with him too, you know? Yeah. Why would we ever hurt Glenn? If I wanted to commit a murder... <laughs> I'd kill Melody. <sighs> eh? I heard my name. Why? Me Melody's on everyone's hit list, my gosh. I guess because she'd be the easiest. Glenn probably shouldn't have been the easiest, to be honest. He's the ultimate survivalist. But I guess this fear makes him the easiest. The minecarts, the sound of them, going along the rails, echoes through the cave, before abruptly coming to a halt. We're here! Jeez, it's dark. I know, I know. Let me light this fire. <clears throat> While I wait for Monokuma to get a fire lit, I start thinking about who could have possibly killed Glenn, Glenn's killer. The person who gave Monokuma's- gave into Monokuma's killing game. Oh, here we go. The person who gave Monokuma exactly what he wanted. Who decided their well-being was more important than all of ours? Could very well be standing, right next to me, pretending they have no idea what happened to Glenn. Who's the imposter? Glenn was my friend. Even though I've known him for a couple of days, it still fills me, uh, fills me with grief. Grief? To know. I'll never be able to speak with him again. I don't know why, I really like, uh, Hunter's pose. Never done anything like this before. Oh, and then you four. 
the homies. Well, I did do a true crime series for my channel once. <laughs> At least that's something. She's prepared, she's got this. Easy peasy. Oh, whatever. This is basically a big argument, right? We'll be fine. All of our lives are on the line. We need to find this traitor. Oh, I like this. Are we all like surrounded by like a campfire? I like that. That is that is good aesthetic. Good. That is that's good for a camp. I like that a lot. Need no need to go flashy for a camp uh, trial setting, but it's very nice, very just calm, tranquil, as you would in a camp. It's, I like this aesthetic a lot. Oh, huh? is this the trial room? Mhm. Mm How far? Are we? oh, we're an hour in already. I could split this, but we'll just we'll just keep going. <clears throat> I'm really into this right now. Now, make sure all of you are at your places. I look down and see a tree stump with my initials carved into it. I guess I'm already at the right spot. At the center of the circle of tree stumps is a fire. Jeez, this sucks. Ima I was imagining an actual courtroom, not some grimy cave. Yeah, this place is boring. Echo! Echo, echo! Come on! <laughs> We're on a tight budget, what did you expect? While looking around the circle, I notice... Glenn's dead, Glenn's dead, <laughs> Emily. Please. Okay, Emily, please don't do <laughs> Glenn's dead, Glenn's dead, Glenn's dead. Emily, please don't do this echo thing the whole time. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I already forgot pretty much all the evidence I found. Who died in- <laughs> You're looking real shady, man. No need to worry. I remember all the evidence I personally saw. Of course, I may have missed stuff. But with all of our minds together, I'm sure we have enough evidence to find the culprit. Yeah, I'm sure our collective 15 brain cells will manage to solve an entire murder. <laughs> Come on. You guys are ultimates. Aren't ultimates supposed to be smart? Not necessarily, ma'am. Nope. And Melody's living proof of that. Shots. I'll have you know, Miss Taylor of 7th grade math once told my mom she's a smart girl. She just needs to turn her work in. So, there you go. A professional in the field of education calling me an intellectual. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That's a great defense. I can't. I can't with that. Hold on. Let's get ready for this. It's trial time. Oof. Ah. Yeah, we'll do fine. As the ultimate police officer, who should have signed up as the ultimate interrogator, this is my specialty. I forgot. Oh, oh yeah. Can't you do your interrogation superpower to get us out of this? Interrogation superpower? Huh, yeah. I didn't want everyone to know about this, Kim. But no. Just no. Yo, you have superpowers? No. No. It's not much. And only for specific circumstances. <laughs> Show us the powers. No. My abilities should only be used on guilty people. That's what it was. I'm very strict with the whole innocent until proven guilty thing, and I will never use my ability on an innocent person. Well, what even is your ability? When I interrogate people, they complete uh, they give the complete truth 100% of the time, but if you only use it on guilty people, people who you know are guilty, then what does it matter? I guess it would matter if you're trying to connect cases or something. Well, I'll, I'll give him that, I'll give him that. I don't really know what it is. I guess it's... I get scary or something. But it's really tiring to do when the interrogate... The interrogatee always leaves mortified of me. So I only do it when I know for certain the person committed a crime, which means I can't do it here. Oh. Well, couldn't you do it on Nora then? <clears throat> well, no, because the crime we're discussing has nothing to do with her thievery. Oh, just interrogate me. Get it over with. <laughs> so you're able to interrogate people into telling the truth for sure. But you only do it if you already know they're guilty, so it's basically useless. I kind of thought about that, but I was like, no. Pretty cool. Hey, it's to get confessions. To present in court and stuff. Come on, lose some morals and just interrogate all of us one by one. Guilty until proven in innocent. Not. The exact opposite of how it should be. Absolutely not. We're gonna rely on evidence and critical thinking for this, not my inhumane interrogation techniques. 
That reminds me. I should look at my camera footage. What footage do you have? Oh, just of all of the... This is our truth bullets. Okay. Angela's low. Ew, would Angela really write this? Back. Laundry room, I've found various blood spots on the floor. Washer soaked with tons of blood. Harmony's clothes are found inside. Dinner schedule, <coughs> 5 to 10. Alexander, figure in the forest. When he was trying to meet up with Angela. Angela's been all over the place. <coughs> but nobody saw her. They would have seen her. Footprints found near Glenn's, uh, Glenn's corpse must have been left there last night during the rain. You guys were swimming from 9 to 2. At some point, Harmony got close, uh, close splashed with water, so she left them out to dry, which resulted in them getting stolen the next day. Glenn's dead. Um, looks like Ange might be written on there, although it's too difficult to tell. Is there any other direction we could look at that and see something else? Because <clears throat> that other thing looks like a 2. The N looks like an H. Could it have been doctored in any way? That too could be an L, I guess. I'm sure that was doctored in some way. I just can't figure it out. Uh, it's not as easy as uh, 11037. Um... I guess it could also be upside down. The The main tricky part is the A. I don't know. We'll leave it be for right now. What do you have? A fight with Nora. I wish we had a time for that. Sleepover. Glenn information. Loud noise. Knife block found in the kitchen. Monopad was left charging in the room. I don't know how that's going to be useful, but it is there for us. <coughs> Looks like Glenn had a knife with him. Possible murder weapon, more than likely not. Usually if it's at the scene of the crime, it's not the murder weapon. Glenn's phobia of being murdered drove him to be alone in the forest. Are you